keep rates low such that America doesn't default and even the Fed with its own balance sheet doesn't become insolvent, they're going to have to print more money to keep rates low. They're going to have to become the buyer of the, the buyer of last resort, the only buyer of those treasury bills. So they've worked themselves into a very unescapable trap. It's, it's like they're playing a game of chess and they're in check right now, okay? And they're headed towards checkmate. They're moving their king around the board, but it's headed towards checkmate. They might as well fold now, as far as I'm mean, concerned, because it's considered bad etiquette in chess to continue to play when you're in a hopeless position. So uh, I think that they've put themselves in a very, very unescapable trap. I don't think that there's a way out of this. The math simply doesn't work. So if, this is why I keep coming back to the inflation bet. And, you know, and the world is in two camps today. You've got those that are betting on deflation and those that are betting on inflation. Okay, and I'm betting on inflation. And, and you can tell that there's a large part of the world's betting on deflation because everybody's in cash. There's a lot of cash and people are afraid of deflation and or an additional crisis that will cause even you know or depression so they're in cash and then there's the other camp that's in things like gold and hard assets and they're betting on inflation and I just look at it from a historical perspective I see what is the behavior of the policymakers and what makes them behave to act in a certain way so you watch their body language their behavior to date and everything that I'm watching tells me that they're going down the inflation path 